make this quick guys because if you are not already watching Stranger Things you absolutely must I've, I've watched The Only Way is Essex it's the how ha I can't fucking speak it's the Halloween edition in my head I got this really weird recollection that that's usually the last episode of the series that doesn't look to be the case look we've got to do this so this is purposely going to be I'm going to blast through it I've got some points down there's a picture of Gemma Collins music and then let's go the only way is up, indeed. This is the Halloween edition, which as I've already said. Now, the first thing that always strikes me with any, whenever they get the fancy dress stuff, is that there are, it's always like fucking some sort of Hollywood wardrobe that they're getting. It should be homemade stuff, and it's always glitter. Glitter on Halloween just, it messes with me head. It's just stupid. Glitter is the HIV of the craft world. Jangly and sparkly, it's Christmas and it's, I don't even like it at Christmas. Imagine how much I must ate it at Halloween. You're absolutely right. If you put bets on it, you're absolutely right. You probably won. In this episode, there was the amount of times that people say, I'm not gonna lie, I ain't lying. I'm not gonna tell a lie, whatever it is. It's the reason why we're saying that because unless you put that caveat in, you are gonna tell a lie. I just assume that people are telling the truth most of the time, all the time. I'll go out on a limb, right, okay? And then I hear this, I'm not gonna lie. And I go, whoa, when you said that thing before, you, you've you done a lie. Well, obviously not, I'm being facetious, but why would you say it, I ain't gonna lie? In this episode, I, I sort of like picked up on it quite late on. I was like, they've said that a few times, and then they've said it about three or four more times after I'd thought, that, so, so maybe it was a five or six or seven, I'm not gonna lie episode, I ain't gonna lie. Bobby is convinced that this presenting job is actually happening. It was he did. It's just a home video, but no, he's, he thinks he's got a show. He refers to it as if he's on another show. And look, I think he's mentally ill. And everybody's going along with it. Like, they know he's mentally ill. Next, they've been invited to a Halloween do. The Halloween do has an invitation, as most parties do, and this invitation is a rhyme. That's the setup. Okay, now that's delivered quite early on. Um, at some point, about five or ten minutes in, Bobby then recorded, still on this show, why are we here, he says. Why do you think we're here, girls? And they don't, we, they go, well, we don't know, we ain't got a clue. Well, there's a fucking invitation. What they mean is, who do you think's invited us? This must be some sort of surprise. I don't doubt that, but why are they making a big show about it? Because then, that is followed by this hooded figure walking around the grounds of this stately home that they're in. But it's got like, you know, the regular music, stupid music. It accompanies everything that they fucking do in this show. Next, what have I put here? What on earth have I put there? Pranks. You know how I feel about pranks. For a start, lots of has been bothering me recently. Not as much as Ben Phillips ever has. Because of that, I ate pranks. Oh, I'm doing a prank. I hate the word prank. This is just like, you know, we're in a costume, it's Halloween. I'm going to see them walking up behind each other saying boo, prank. It's like if they're having a, an Indian themed eve, afternoon or evening or party, then that, that, ding -a -ding -a -ding -a -ding -a -ding that music will play. Let, look, listen. That music, that music would play. Because it's obvious. Halloween, pranks, Indian party, that DJ. Ding -ling -ling -ling. Right, let's quickly move on. One girl says, I'm really proud of how I handled meeting an ex-girlfriend. It's just a fucking human being. You're proud, I, I thought I dealt with it really well. If people fucking get on my tits. This is it, I'm leaving you with this. Right, there's a ghost. I don't believe in ghosts, as you, you may know. There's a reported ghost in this building that they're in this house called the white lady. So they say, do you know why she's called the white lady? Here's George's explanation of why they, why she's called the white lady. In the 18th century, they had no fake tan, so they just painted her white. Uh, so that's the reason why she's called the white lady. So tomorrow is Halloween. I hope you're gonna dress up. I just throw on a costume. Best night of the year. 
will see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Fuck yeah. Oh, that's bloody shit. No, I've had enough now. <laughs> oh, grumpy at 40.